Hey guys, Josiah back here. Um, I figured I'd do a, a little show just to show you um, some of the techniques that I use when I'm doing acrylic pour paintings. Um, so I guess here we go. Alright, <clears throat> make sure we got everything. Got my canvas, uh, it's the artist wrap canvas. Um, I've got my paint already mixed up. Um, I guess in another episode I'll show you, you know, the percentages that I mix my paint and my mediums, all that stuff. But for right now, okay, so I try to keep my colors in the same area. Um, so since, like, on the color wheel, you've got your red and your purple together right next to your blue and all that, I, I decided to do one with two different purples and then this kind of reddish orange, okay. Uh, so those are going to be my mains. Then my dark contrast is going to be this silver back here. Um, then we've got two light contrasting colors. We've got our white and our pearlescent right up here. Okay. So, and this is going to be a uh, dirty pour painting. So basically all that means is that I'm going to pour most of the colors into a cup. This cup, as a matter of fact. And then I'm going to pour that onto the canvas, and then we'll just manipulate the paint in different ways to uh, get it to do what we want it to do. Alright, so I guess let's get started. Let me throw some gloves on. Alright, let's do this. So we're going to start out... And let's go ahead and just start with our main colors. Alright, this is a, a deep dark purple. Um, it's called Deoxazine Violet. And this is like my favorite shade of purple. And this is my favorite color in the whole world. It just is. I love it to death. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and throw some of this in our cup. Okay, and we'll pour just about all of it. I usually leave just a little bit so that I can go back and put a little bit on top of the painting at the end. Okay, we're going to throw some pearl in there to contrast against the purple. I'm going to hold out and not do all the pearl yet. Okay, so we got those two. Let's put some silver. Okay. Good, good, good. White is going to contrast against that silver. Alright, now let's do our uh, copper-ish, reddish, orange. Alright, now we're going to come back with a little bit more pearl. Alright, and then this light amethyst metallic purple. Boom, okay. Now, let's throw a little bit more white in there. White, actually, it's a heavy color, so it sinks to the bottom real quick. So, when you pour it, you'll kind of see how it separates itself from the other colors. But, alright, <clears throat> let's do this. A lot of times, I will stir it one time real quick. I'll just go a little, boom. Okay. Uh, wipe that off, wipe that off. Let's pour. Alright, try to get this as close to the edges as I can. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, oh yeah, give me some of that purple, I love it. Yeah, that dark violet, that's gorgeous. Man, and you see how the silicone's already making cells in this, like it's it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's doing a great job. Man, I love this purple. That's awesome. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do to manipulate it, we're going to do a little tilt of the canvas and just let it flow in whichever direction we want. We want to kind of cover our corners and our sides. So, we're just going to do that like that. We'll go towards the top. Cover most of our top. 
do not be scared to let it run off the edges that's completely what you want okay we're coming back down good just want to cover all of it and once we get it all covered then we'll start with the real fun part Okay, got that. Oh, my arm was in the way, sorry. Good, 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 good. Alright, perfect. Good, 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 guys. Alright, let me wipe my hands off real quick. And <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do a couple little swipes in there. I've got all these little tools, and I love using them. They're super fun. So let's do our little small plastic swipe tool. And I'm going to come from right here. Go. Okay. Go ahead and wipe that. Good, good. You see the little cells it makes when it thins out? It makes beautiful little cells. Right, like, I think they're gorgeous, man. Alright, so we're going to do that. We'll do another one that kind of matches it up here. Okay. Great. Good, 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 good. Those cells are really doing it, man. That is awesome. Okay, we'll make a thinner one that comes up like that. Beautiful. Okay. And we will come down from the top and make one that intersects with this top one. Alright. Now we have our swipes, our first little layer of swipes the way we want it. Okay. Sometimes I use a little torch, but today I'm going to use a heat gun. Okay, we don't really want to dry out the paint when we do that. We're just wanting to make the silicone in the paint react. And so that's exactly what we're doing. Alright, <clears throat> now we got that done. <clears throat> I'm thinking. So I've got this extra paint over here. I'm really liking what I'm seeing though. But I say we do one glob with most of this, well, a little bit of all of them. How about that? And then we'll just swipe it, okay? One good time. So we'll go silver, uh, amethyst, okay, pearl, okay. Deep dark violet and white. Alright. Use a slightly bigger stand. We'll use this one. Swipe tool. And we're just gonna go. Okay. Is that not awesome? Okay. I'm going to try to mimic that, make another one of that same thing, but make it over here facing that way, alright? So let's try to keep it in the same order. We'll just go silver, amethyst, okay, pearl, oh there's my pearl, 
curl. All right. And I got copper. Dark violet. And a little bit of white. Like I said, white is heavy, so it tries to sink to the bottom real quick. That's awesome. That's completely okay. I'm going to try to match that corner with this corner so it's all kind of symmetrical in a way. Kind of symmetrical. Yeah. All right. So this one goes like that. So we'll do the same thing. We're going to go like this and up. All right. So let's go. I love it. Right. I like to have something. Um, like, you know, you can do a regular dirty pour and have, you know, have everything, the cells show up and do all this. But if you don't have a focal point, then it's just a background piece. It just looks like a bunch of background art. And we're not trying to make background art. We're trying to make great art. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun one more time. I love it. Okay. Um, I'm about to end this video, but hey, if you like the painting, if you like the uh, show, just uh, like it on YouTube, subscribe. Uh, man, I sell these paintings on my website. Uh, website is scarletraindrops.com. That's S C A R L E T T R A I N E. D R O P S dot com. Go on there and check it out. I sell e juice, I sell flavors for culinary purpose, and I sell paintings. So give it a shot, guys. Go on, see what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.